with Falcon hockey coach Steve Freeman and Steve, the Falcons went on the road for the first time last weekend and had some great success winning two games at Superior, 4-1 to one on Friday and 2-1 to one on Saturday. Could you talk a little bit about those two games? Well, you know, anytime you go up to Superior and get four points, it's a, it's a terrific weekend, and it, it, but it wasn't an easy weekend. You know, it was tough, tough hockey, and it was a battle for every inch of that ice both nights. You know, the 4-1 to one game was, again, it was a one-goal hockey game, and we got a power play at the end. You know, with about three minutes to go and uh, and score to make it a three-one game, and then an open netter. Um, I, I thought the first night that our defensemen played well. Um, we moved the puck pretty well and played a, a pretty good road game for our first road game. Um, the second night, um, the first half of the game was was somewhat even. They came out real hard, and they, I thought they all played us a little bit in the first period, and then the second period they kind of settled in a little bit. And um, you know, it was a very physical game. Um, the, wasn't called very close, so there was a lot of heavy hitting and a lot of stuff after the whistle and that kind of thing. Um, you know, we had the game in control. We scored a couple of nice goals and had the game in control two to nothing. Went on the power play and got a little lackadaisical on the power play, and they came down and they scored a, a shorthanded goal to make it a two to one game with about oh, 11 minutes to go. And um, then they came hard. That that got them excited and got their fans excited and. Uh, the, the last 11 minutes were really an adventure. They were all over us down there, and, and Scott Lewin stood big for us, and, and uh, we were able to hang on. So it was a great four points, great way to start a uh, road trip, and um, you know we'll, we'll need those points at the end of the season. Steve, you mentioned Scott Lewin, uh, his play, and, and he was named the team's player of the week. He was also named the player of the week in both the WIAC and the NCHA. Obviously just gave up the two goals, had a 963 saves percentage uh, throughout the weekend series. Could you talk about Scott's play? Well, you know, it seems like uh, we mention Scott every weekend, Jim, um, you know, and that's great. He's playing terrific hockey for us, and he was terrific up there, very, very solid. Um, like I said, the first night, most of the shots were kept at the outside of the rink, so it was a little easier night for him. The second night, they got a lot of shots in the slot area where he came up very big for us. But like we've said in the past, you know, he's got a very good demeanor about himself. He's um, very focused. Um, doesn't get shook if he gets banged around a little bit or if he gives up a goal or something like that. So he's, um, he's you know, a terrific young man and, uh, you know, the, the backbone of our hockey team. Steve, looking ahead, the Falcons will go on the road again at Eau Claire Friday and Saturday night, 7 o'clock starts at Hobbs Ice Center. What do you know about the Blue Goals? Well, you know, they've got some talented hockey players over there. Um, you know, they played us last year three real tough games. We beat them a two out of three. But, uh, you know, they were all tight, tight hockey games. And, again, going on the road, they had just had some success, some success over in the Adrian tournament in Michigan against the Adrian team that was in the Frozen Four. And they went over and won that tournament and beat Adrian on their own ice. So um, I think they'll be feeling pretty good about themselves and, you know, have some confidence. And so we know, you know, the rest of the way these games are going to be probably one or two goal hockey games. So we're going to have to really play well. Um, you play disciplined hockey, and we've got to play physical on the road. You know, we've got to hit that team, and um, you know, take take advantage of our special teams when we get do get the chances. Steve, good luck to the Falcons, and take your time. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Joe.